Hi, my name is Anfisa Alon. Welcome to Retina Coach. Understanding how the vitrectomy system works and knowing how to prime it on your own is crucial, since there may be situations when assistance is not available. So today we're going to talk about the priming steps of the Stellaris Lead Vitrectomy Machine. And I want to thank Rob Nelson, the Surgical Device Manager at Bausch & Lomb, for explaining me the priming steps for this machine. Enjoy the video and subscribe to the channel. Stellaris Elite has a Venturi pump, which means that the vacuum in the machine is created by the flow of nitrogen or compressed air. So the first step in making the system work is to connect it to the nitrogen source, otherwise there will be no vacuum. Before turning the system on, we want to make sure that the foot pedal is wired. The system will boot up and then we'll see the WFC11 message that says that foot control configuration on wired cable connection has completed successful. That is the indication that it's safe to unplug the foot pedal from the system. So now what we should do is to unplug the cable and to hold one of the four side buttons of the pedal for a second. And that will initiate the wireless connection to start. Once this slide turns solid, which takes up to a minute, we know that the foot pedal is synchronized wirelessly with the system. The lower is a battery indicator and the upper is a signal indicator. Now we can hit close and select our procedure. There are a posterior segment procedure, which is a retina case, anterior segment, which is a cataract case, and posterior anterior procedure, which is a combined facovitrectomy case. Different cases require different matching cassettes. In this video, we are going to show you the posterior only case. Once we chose the procedure, the Select Surgeon screen will come up. For this video, we are going to select Just Evaluation and then we will hit the Confirm button. Now, a couple of things about the setup screen. We see that we have a full battery on our foot controller and that our foot controller is wirelessly connected to the system. If it was still wired instead of having a signal like in a cell phone, we should have a picture of wire. Now the system telling us to open pack and insert cassette. So we are opening the pack. There is a sterile plastic cover in the pack that should cover the table. We cover it before recording this video, so we'll skip this step. Once the area is covered with a sterile cover, we can take out the cassette and the tubing. The animation on the screen shows us how to insert the cassette, and basically there is only one way to do that. We will take out the cassette and push it in. Now the system will do the vacuum check. Once a cassette vacuum check is complete, it's time to set up the system. We open up an envelope. Everything on the left side of the envelope stays within the sterile scrub, and everything on the right side of the envelope goes to the circulator. We are going to take off everything on the right side and meanwhile hang it on the side. Now we will concentrate on the left side and its tubing. In order to set up the system properly, we need to follow up a specific order. This order is CAB, cassette, air, bottle. Our cassette is already in, the next thing we need is air, and the air port is already flashing, telling us that we need to plug it in. The message on the screen is also telling us that the air pressure output is lower than commanded. As soon as we plug the tubing with the filter into the port, the error on the screen will go away and the flashing light at the port will turn solid. This is the infusion line that goes into the eye to support the eye pressure during vitrectomy. We have our fluid line, which is green, and an air line, which is blue. The stopcock points toward what is off, so we are currently on the fluid and off the air. Now we will grab the cutter assembly. It comes in a blue envelope. We will take this out and put it on the table with the cutter slide facing down. The upper tubing is for the pneumatic vitreous cutter. The large connector is a pneumatic driver for the cutter. This connector goes toward the port that says VIT. The small connector is the aspiration line for the cutter and it goes to the right side of the cassette. It doesn't fit the left side of the cassette, so it has to go to the right. The next set of tubes we have is the active aspiration line for the soft tip cannula or fragmentation handpiece. There is only one connector and there is only one place to plug it in, which is the left side of the cassette. 
The next thing we have to do is connect the infusion line to the stopcock. We should be careful not to pull it out from the other side. We will flip the cutter assembly over so during the priming the fluid will be collected in this bath. It's a push prime system that will push fluid from the BSS bottle through all the lines and will give us around 30 cc of the BSS fluid from the bottle into the priming track. Now we will connect the BSS bottle. We make a hole to let the vented infusion line go in. We are pinching the air line to ensure no fluid gets into it. Then we will insert the vented infusion line into the bottle. We will fill the drip chamber halfway and hang the bottle on the lower hanger. Now we have to hit an easy prime on the left side of the screen and we will see the fluid come through the line. When the priming is complete, the system will automatically advance to the surgery. And what we have left is to plug in the light pipe. This light pipe will go to the lower illuminator opening. And the reason for that is that the lower illuminator has color filters. Right now we are on the non-filter setting. The amber filter reduces glare from the fluid meniscus during fluid air exchange. The green filter offers assistance during membrane peeling. The yellow tint is designed for longer cases to filter more of the blue wave to reduce potential phototoxicity. In the accessory pack we also have an additional stopcock in case the surgeon wants to use it for gas injection during air gas exchange. Two more items are a stopper for the cassette, which is used when the whole pack needs to be sent to the lab for diagnostics, and an adapter that goes to the extrusion line. This is where our soft tip cannula will go for the extrusion. These were the priming steps of the Stellaris Elite vitrectomy machine. Subscribe to our channel to avoid missing our new videos and share them with friends. Thank you for your attention.